Hi everyone, Anthony Morganti here. Very short video today. In today's video, I want to talk about how to properly use the dehaze slider in Lightroom. And you're probably thinking to yourself, what's so difficult about using the dehaze slider? If you want to add haze, move it to the left. If you want to remove haze, move it to the right. Well, you're probably aware that when you do move that dehaze slider, you're greatly affecting the tone and color of the image. And what you may find is if you have an image and you're doing your normal adjustments to it, tone and color, and then decide to use the dehaze slider that you're greatly going to affect that tone and color, so much so that most often you're going to have to go back in and readjust the tone and color of the image. And then you're going to find yourself in this kind of vicious little loop of readjusting dehaze, adjusting tone and color, readjusting dehaze, adjusting tone and color, and so on. So my recommendation to you is to use the dehaze slider as early in your workflow as possible, first if possible. Now for this image, as you can see, it's very hazy. I did do lens corrections to it, and I did crop it from horizontal to vertical, but other than that, I haven't done anything to it. So I want to use dehaze right now, and because it is hazy, I'm going to move it to the right. And as I move it to the right, you can see the contrast is increasing greatly, so it's affecting the tone. And it's actually becoming more saturated. And also, as I'm moving it to the right, the lion is looking more orange than she actually was, so it's adversely affecting the color as well. So it's much easier now to correct that color issue early in your workflow. If I had first gone in and adjusted highlight shadows, whites, and blacks, and added saturation or vibrance, and then move the dehaze slider, it's much more difficult to correct this color problem. Now, I moved the dehaze enough. What I want to do next is correct that color issue. I mentioned the lion's a little bit orange. So I'm going to go to the HSL color tab. I'm going to be the, in the HSL section of it. I'm going to go to saturation. I'm just going to go to the orange saturation slider and move that to left. You can see how I'm just making the lion look more like she actually looked. Now, I'll go in and adjust this as I normally would. Our highlights look pretty good. I'm going to open up the shadows a bit. I'm going to get a white point by holding the Alt Option key in on my keyboard, moving whites to the right, and just letting it clip just a little bit, maybe up in that upper left-hand corner. Then go and move blacks to the left until I get some clipping. It kind of like that. I could add a little bit of texture. Now, I don't really need to add clarity, I don't think, because... I moved that dehaze so much to the right. And overall, maybe it's just a little bit dark. I could brighten her up just a little bit like that. And there, there's my adjusted image. Now, I'll probably go down and I'd go to effects and I'd add a bit of it as well. And that's it. So that's how I properly adjusted this image by using dehaze very early in my workflow it was the third thing I did. I did lens corrections first. I cropped the image second. And then I use dehaze before I did anything with tone contrast or color. Thank you, everyone who watches my videos. I really do appreciate it. Talk to you guys soon.